do that. Okay. Are you fixed? Are you recording? <laughs> God, are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're good. Let's just go into this. <laughs> Caitlin, I love you. Can you say I love you back? Please? I, love you. I love you. Okay, thank you. That way they actually know you exist. Um, <laughs> okay, so I actually wanted to talk about. Um, that looks for her, Caitlin. Look at me. Okay, um, I actually wanted to talk about how MS is um, a silent illness. How we really do go through this silently for so long, and um, a along with many others, illnesses like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, um, cancer for a very long time as well, and. Um, I could probably go on and list several other illnesses. Um, Devic's disease is another one um, that mimics MS for a very long time and is very difficult to diagnose. Um, this should not be silent. Um, MS is something that doesn't show on our bodies, not for a very long time. It's something that when we start to go on this journey, as um, I am using that term very nicely to try to describe this, some of us are very fortunate and we have a doctor that hears us because they're a very good physician and, and they, they're in tune and they hear, hear you. And you're diagnosed ra you know, rather quickly and because they hear you and they run the right tests. But some of us, a lot of us, doesn't happen. No, they just look at you like you're crazy, and they might put you in the fibromyalgia category or this category or that one, and or they they just or you you know you're suffering with migraines and they blow you off, and we go through it for years. That's crap. That that's hell, and um, we suffer. For a long time and we go through this silently and 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 as we're going through it silently some of our loved ones or maybe a lot of them maybe it's your spouse your boyfriend maybe it's it's someone very close to you a friend a best friend maybe you've lost friends because they think you're lying maybe they think you don't maybe a loved one thinks you don't want to work or they're you know they think you're a hypochondriac they think you're just being lazy why are you so tired all the time maybe they accuse you of other things well let me tell you something I know how that feels because I went through it with you know that other person that I've talked about in other videos we won't go there yeah so I know how bad that hurts if your loved one is telling you things about their body that doesn't feel right, listen. Because nothing scared me more than when I thought I was having a heart attack at work, giving one of my residents a shower, and I thought to myself, God, this is between you and me. Because I turned around and grabbed the wheelchair and my arms would move. And I thought there was an elephant sitting on my chest. And I thought, what in the hell is wrong with me? I've got to get her in her chair. Oh, God. And it was God. It was, it, I, I had help. And I had to speak very firmly to her to get her to sit in her chair with towels wrapped around her. I ran. At least I think I ran. I don't even know what I was doing. Into the hall. And I yelled for my charge nurse. He comes running down the hall and... I was rushed to the ER thinking I was having a heart attack and it wasn't. Now I look back and I know it was the MS hug. My very first experience with one I've had many since. They suck. This shouldn't be silent. We should be screaming it from every mountaintop. 
This hurts us. We stand stoic. Mothers with this, fathers with this, people that climb mountains, that go and work every day, we fight with this. But there are so many people out there that are not knowledgeable to what this does to our bodies. How this hurts and causes us pain. How we struggle to pick our feet up to walk. How so many of us get stared at when we park in handicapped parking because we look normal. There's nothing silent on the inside of our bodies about this. It takes so much away from us. It tears us down. There's nothing about this that's silent. If you ask somebody with it, they'll tell you if you listen. But you have to listen. You have to be willing to hear, to really care. And listen. Want to learn. My hip flexors right here. That's my first sign. I know I'm going down. That's it. That's my exacerbation sign right there. I know, no matter how long I fight, I can fight for a month, two months, I'm gonna be on steroids. My tremors, I try to hide it. I can't. My med, it's helping some. I'm scared to death. There's nothing silent about this. We all need to spread this knowledge, family, friends, parents, brothers, sisters, boyfriends, girlfriends, significant others, listen! We love you. We need you. But there's nothing silent about it because it screams at us. But we're not screaming at you. We're not. We're just living our life, trying to do the best we can. And we try not to ask for help any more than we need it. Because we don't want to bother anybody. That's why it's silent. I love you guys. Huge hugs.